Okay, so Bronnier, another Jimmy Page finger-picking masterpiece here. It's not quite as hard as you might think it is to play. You know, a lot of people would probably hear it and go, well, you know, I'll never be able to play that. But once you break it down into the patterns, and there's seven patterns that you need to learn to play it. And a couple of those patterns have variations, but there's seven basic patterns. Once you learn those, then it's just a matter of putting them together. And it's in this crazy tuning. It's a C6 tuning. You drop your low E to a C, keep your A the same, your D down to a C, G stays the same, and then the B string you go up to a C, and you keep your E string the same. Okay, so you've got C on the low E, C on the D, C on the B, right? And when we start the song, we're going to hit this C too on the A string. So we've got one, two, three, four Cs. Right? Okay, so um, let's start with the first pattern. There's different ways you can play this, right? You can play it with just your thumb kind of doing these two strings and, and having one, two, three um, on the D, G, and B, right? First, second, and third fingers. You can play it that way, but I don't play it that way. What I do is I use my thumb, and I think this is probably how I did it, but I don't know for sure, because there's no uh, videos of him playing this live, so I'm just going strictly on feel, and just from the fact that, you know, Travis picking is, uh, is kind of a thumb thing. Okay, so what we're going to do there is we're going to slide in from B2, or A2, the B note, up to A3. Okay, and I'm going to cover that D string with my thumb. And then the G string with the first finger, B string second finger. So we've got... Okay, now when you... You could go open, and then... And I think he does that sometimes, and sometimes he just slides in from the uh, second fret. Okay, so we just do that. Now we're going to go open E string and do that again. So we've got and that's kind of the essence of the song right there. Okay, so that's something you, you're going to want to practice. You know, start really slow and you'll notice that And then you got your fingers. Right? Put them together. Gradually speed up. Okay, so that's your first pattern. And then the variation on that is he'll bring in this high E string. Okay, so we just alternate that high E string with the B string. And I hit that high E with my middle finger, but you could use your third finger, right? Whatever is, works better for you. Not sure how many times each one goes but it really doesn't matter you know just go by feel right so we start out with that first one and then we get into the second one so you're gonna you need a quick thumb to do this right okay so that's your first pattern the intro now we'll go to pattern two and that's gonna come down here so we've got um, a2, D2, and B2. Open G, and open, open E, right? And we're gonna play this like this. Okay, we'll do it again. So what we're doing there is, we're gonna grab the A string and the B string, 
together at the same time, like a pinch, right? And then we've got middle finger on the G string, thumb on the D, right? Real slow. Okay, now we're gonna pull off from E3 to open. Now, as soon as we sound that open string, we're gonna hit this A string again. And we're gonna one, two, three, right? A string, D string, G string. Okay, so what's happening there is on the bottom end, we've got this. Okay, so. Okay, now a lot of people would do that twice. Okay, but it isn't, it's. And together with the high part, we've got. Again. And then we slide back to that, right? So. And that completes your second pattern, right? Okay, so now we come up to the third pattern and we're gonna grab A5, B4, or G4, and B5. And we're gonna do the exact same picking here. Except we don't have a pull-off anymore, right? We just open E. So same picking, where we're going, right? Open E there, right? Open B, and then So great, I just love that playing. It's that. It's that that kind of makes the song, I think. Okay, so all together from the intro, go a little slower. Okay, so you've got your first three patterns right there. And I would suggest just taking those three and really working on them. Um, like, don't get too far ahead, ahead of yourself in this, because you'll get overwhelmed, okay? Uh, so just practice those ones. So let's move on to uh, the fourth pattern. And that one sounds like this. Again. This one is a little more complicated, but again, we're gonna break it down, okay? So we're gonna start by pinching again, low E on uh, E5 and the open G. And then open D, open A string with your thumb, All right? Okay, and then open B. So that's your first part. And now, he kind of does this weird bass stuff, right? And you can go there, or you can go... Just go open A to open D. Right? There's that way, or... Now, I choose to do it this way because I think that's a little more defined, a little more clear sounding, and to me that just matches what he's doing better. Okay, so, you know, that's... You know, just practice that, right? 
moving on. Okay, open G, open E. So add that to what we've got. Now we'll add on some more. <laughs> okay, so we do that again, right? And we're not finished yet. Open G, open B. Now we add the low E. And we finish it off by going D string, G string, D string with the thumb. complete section, right? Okay, that to me was the hardest lick to get because it kind of never ends, you know, it just keeps on going. Um, and we got to really try and not like, you know, this part of your hand, you don't want to be muting any of those strings. You want to make sure you're away and getting all the strings to ring. It's actually quite fast, right? Okay, so that's your fourth pattern. And now, you know, as the song goes along, we just go back to this again. And we just do that one time. Okay, now we move on to the next pattern, and that's going to sound like this. This, this has a couple of different variations, um, but the first time he does it, he does it like this. So what we got there is just that C note. And it's just one, two, three, four again, right? Just arpeggiate it. Remember your thumb is gonna cover the A string and the D string. So it just, Straight down. Now this chord, you know, from before, from that lick, right? And again, just straight arpeggio. And now we're going to go, and I use my third finger there, because later on, when we do that part, I like to do that with my third finger. You could use your first finger. Okay, that's a bar there, by the way, and it's just one, two, three, four again. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And like I said, you could use that first finger, but you're gonna have trouble later because you're gonna have to either, you know, do some weird stuff to get that next lick. But we'll talk about that in a minute. But for now, I'm gonna use my third finger. Okay, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay, that's just um, D4, and again, just arpeggiating, right? So, all together. And we just repeat it. Okay, and now it ends by going like this. Okay, so it's just a little trill on the B string. Remember, we're just, we're just arpeggiating straight here. Okay, and then we go. Okay, so just do the last cycle of that.
So that whole section. And now we're going to go like this. Okay, and this is your next pattern. So we're here. And we're just going to slide that up, right? That B string. So we just slide that up off of the B string. Right, then one, two, three, D string, G string, B string. Right, and slide up again. And then open B. So it's really hard to play this slow. Do that three or four times. And then we're back into that, okay? So then we just repeat the whole thing again. And when we get to this part, um, this time we're going to play this quite a bit different. And because what happens is, on the record, you can hear that slide up to here, right? Right, and, and he throws that little trill in there. So the only way to do that is to use third finger up and then bar with the first finger. So we've got... And we do that two or three times. And then the last time, he's going to trill it once. And he's going to slide up on that, right? So now you've got a problem because unless you can get your thumb over there. And maybe some of you can do that, right? I can't. I just suck at that. So what I do is I replace my finger with this third finger. And this is how I do it. Right there. I just I just replace it, right? To, to do that the way I like to do it, okay? So, all together, that's going to look like this. Okay? That's a little tricky, that part, because you go up, it seems like you're going up too soon, right? You want to hold it a little bit longer, but it goes up a little sooner than you expect. Right there. Okay? And then we do that. I think it's four times. And we end it like this. Just on that G string there. And it's kind of a sharp ending, right? Okay, now we're going to come down here and bar again on the 4th fret. We just do this. Just 1, 2, 3, 4 again, right? And we 
end it one, two, three. Okay? Real sharp ending. And dynamically, it comes way down here, right? And then we come into this last section, which is the ending. And it goes like this. Okay, just love that. Um, so what we're doing there is... Right, we end that, one, two, three, and then we're going to slide up uh, to A7, and we've got D5, and it's one, two, three, four, right, one, two, three, four, I always use my thumb, the second one, right, now we just take that figure and move it up a string, so now we've got D5, and, or D7 and G5, One, two, three, four, again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now we take that pattern and move it up again. So we've got D7, B5. And one, two, three, four again, right? Okay, that sounds so good. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. It kind of slows down here. You hit that D string three times. One, two, three. Now we take our little finger, put it up on D7, right? And then open it again. D7. And then last chord, which is just A3. Okay, so a little slower. And that's it. Really, like I said earlier, you should just learn, you know, one pattern at a time, basically. Maybe, you know, uh, learn the first three and just work on those. So. You know, just work on that, right? For like however long it takes you to get that down. And then, you know, next, work on this. Work on that until you've got it down, right? And slowly piece it all together. Um, but definitely don't look at the whole thing and, and uh, don't move from one section to the next until you've nailed it, right? Until you don't have to think about it, until you just play it like uh, automatic. It's really the best way to learn things, you know, breaking it up into pieces. Anyways, I hope you get something out of this lesson. I hope you enjoy playing this song. It's an absolutely beautiful song to play. And really, you know, once you learn it and get it down, it really, really feels good to play it, right? Anyways, all right, that's it. We'll talk to you next time.